Well, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Jashana here to talk about some friggin' books slash a goal. So I already did my 2022 reading goals video. And in that I said I wasn't going to make a list of specific books I want to read, but I changed my mind because there are several anticipated releases from 2021 that I do still want to get to. And then just some series that I want to finish and just so on and so forth. So I did make a list of 22 books that I want to read in 2022. Okay, the books that I want to get to in 2022. Uh, I mean, there's more that I want to get to, but specifically. The Black Coast by Mike Brooks. That was an anticipated 2021 release that I didn't get to, but I am still quite interested in it. I've heard really good things, so I wanna check that one out at some point. The Bone Maker by Sarah Beth Durst. Again, a 2021 anticipated release that I do own, but have not read. Deadly Dreams, this is book three of the Fortuna Sworn series by KJ Sutton. This is a series that I'm kinda like wishy-washy on. Really liked the first book. Felt like eh about the second book. I wanna see the third, check it out. If I don't like that one, then I'll just DNF the series, but if I do like it, then I can continue on. And then The Forever Sea by Joshua Philip Johnson. This is like a, it's like fantasy, but it's like about environmental shit. Yeah, environmental epic fantasy. And it has such a pretty cover. But again, a 2021 release that I didn't get to. For the Wolf by Hannah Witten, another. 2021 that I did not get to, fantasy. Uh, for fans of Uprooted and The Bear and the Nightingale, have not read either of those. The first daughter is for the throne, the second daughter is for the wolf. And it's like a Little Red Riding Hood reimagining type of thing. And then Nolan by Michael J. Sullivan. I want to get to this, but I first need to read through the Ryuria books, both of those series. I started Ryuria Revelations. Um, I'm on the first book right now. So I will get to this one. But yeah, just put it on the list, kind of just so I can have something to check off. <laughs> uh, Warrior of the Wind by Sui Davies Okungbawa. This is one of my 2022 anticipated releases. This is just, I put the ones from that video that I'm like, I absolutely must get to this one, right? There's some that I left off where I'm like, yeah, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I do anticipate it, but if I don't get to it, it's not the end of the world. But the ones that I'm like, no, 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 it would be the end of the world if I didn't get to this. I put them on here. Warrior of the Wind is book two um, of the Nameless Republic series. So definitely that one. This one, uh, Kaikei by Vaishnavi Patel. I just, it sounds really fucking cool. It's 2022 anticipated release for me. Really want to get to that one. And then The Final Strife by Sara El Arifi. Again, a 2022 anticipated release that just sounds amazing. Really want to check it out. Adult fantasy, African inspired world, and just it sounds really cool. Siren Queen by Nevo. A 2022 anticipated release that I cannot fucking wait for after reading The Chosen and the Beautiful. Uh, yeah, any historical fantasy. Thing that Nevo puts out, I am grabbing up. <laughs> Unless I hate this one, which would be tragic. House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass, book two of the Crescent City series. Again, this is one where I'm like, I know I'll get to it. It is kind of nice to have something to check off. <laughs> and then Fairlane by Michael J. Sullivan. This is book two of the uh, the new series, and I the Rise and the Fall. Uh, it's book two after Nolan, so. Again, I assume I'll get to it, but I just want to make sure it's priority. Fevered Star by Rebecca Roanhorse, 2022 release, book two of, uh, what is it called? Something, I don't remember, but it's after Black Sun. What Souls Are Made Of by Tasha Suri. This is one of the classic remixes uh, that this publisher is putting out. Um, it's a young adult and it's a Wuthering Heights reimagining. I'm so fucking hyped, so. Had to put that on the list. The Oleander Sword by Tasha Suri, 2022 anticipated release, book two after the Jasmine Throne. The Surviving Sky by Kritika H. Rao. Again, a 2022 release. This one is first book of a series. Um, it just sounds really awesome. Wanna make sure I prioritize it. The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. I own it, have not read it. 
but I want to get to it. Book two is on my anticipated 2022 releases, but like I need to read book one first. So Monstrous Volume 6, The Vow. I have not read it yet, but I have it. I always pre-order those. Transcendent Kingdom by Ya Gyasi. I actually just started the audiobook for this today, but this is just one that has been on my TBR for a hot second. Want to check it out. The Labyrinth of Spirits by Carlos Ruiz Safan. Uh, this is book four of the Cemetery Forgotten Book series. I need to reread the first three and then get to this one, so series finale. And yeah, that was one of my goals last year that I deleted because I was like, it's not going to happen, but I want it to happen this year. Battle Mage by Stephen Arian. Um, yeah, I want to read through his books, and this is the prequel series to the other one, and then The Coward is a new series um not not in the same world or anything but this is like the first one in the one world so yeah i want to get to that and then kushiel's avatar by jacqueline carey that's the third book in that series in phaedra's trilogy and i want to complete that series i've read the first book just need to read the second and the third so yeah there we go mostly some 2022 anticipated releases that i really really am anticipating uh but then a few just other series I want to finish or start, a couple of random books that I want to get to, and yeah, just want to hold myself accountable. So towards the end of the year, I can check and see how many of these I actually got to. And I just wanted to have the list so they were like priority in my head throughout the year and I didn't like forget about them, you know? I feel like that happens sometimes with anticipated releases. If I don't pay close attention to my anticipated releases list, like debuts, I'll just kind of forget about and be like, oh shit, that's right, that one book came out. <laughs> so yeah, wanted to have them more at the forefront of my mind. So I made the little reading challenge. As always, thank you so much for your time. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.